Hey guys, it's Lama of them here. Uh, gonna be sh today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Optifine mod, or it's also known as the Zoom mod. And I'm a bit sick today, so I uh, just haven't been feeling well. But if you're wondering why I sound different. So first you're wanna gonna come, or you're going to go to your internet browser. A uh, link to this will be in the description. So you're going to come here, and you're going to download one of these, depending on what type of computer you have so you either if your computer only has um one core like one or less core like every computer has a core um you're going to download this one the smooth plus double a and most computers have the multi core one it's mine and the way you can find this out is you can just go to about if you're on mac i don't know, really know how to do it on windows but about this mac and then processor int tel core two so i know that i have two cores so i'm going to download the multi core one i've already downloaded it but i'll just, i'll just download it again just to show you what it looks like and stuff and it just takes you to an adfi website or download just leave this stuff alone skip ad and it should come like this then you're going to want to click this one right here download optifine 1.2.5 dot zip click that and it will start downloading and it will take you to a random page but you just ignore that so then as you can see I have it right here so then just go to save it to wherever I just bring it on my desktop find it much easier by the way I'm also going to show you how to use the what's it called this mod Optifine in the in a not a separate video but this video itself so first you want to go into your finder uh, it's kinda like too many items go to minecraft bin but to get to your minecraft you go sorry i just have it bookmarked here but you just go library application support and then go to your minecraft which mine's right there as you can probably see click that minecraft and then you're going to want to go into your bin this folder right here click that bin and then i already have all this stuff done but i'll redo it so what you do i'll just um trash that but just don't mind any of this. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to it, it it will look like this if you haven't installed any mods already. Minecraft.jar and then I'll just do this real quick. It will look like that. That's what the folder will look like. It it won't be a zip file, it will be a jar file like that. So what you want to do, you're going to want to either control click it open with archive utility 10.6 or you can just if you already have it as a zip, you can just open it and it should make it a folder it should extract it and I don't know it doesn't seem to be doing it so I'll just use the archive utility 10.6 and it should extract the files and could not be launched okay I'm not trying to launch it stupid computer but um then you're gonna wanna rename this to minecraft get rid of the jar extension and then whatever you want so I just named mine backup because in case your minecraft game ever crashed and then rename this one minecraft.jar so like this minecraft.jar and click add and then you should be able to open this now like this okay so you'll have all these class files let's do this all these class files then you're going to want to delete this one called meta inf i've already showed you this in my too many items tutorial so i don't have it in here but it's just a folder and it's in alphabetical order so you delete that meta inf um, if you have any, have any questions on that, just leave a comment. But then you're pretty much going to want to, once you've deleted the meta inf, drag this over here, open up the Optifine mod, aka Zoom mod, and um, copy all these class files. And just drag and drop. And then apply to all and click replace. Okay? So then you should have it installed. I already had it installed, but I'll just show you on Minecraft real quick make this full screen um log in sorry about this but as you log in it just go into single player world okay and as i so you'll notice like nothing will be the same okay like it will everything will seem the same but what you can do is options video settings and look at all the new settings okay 
So th you can like adjust these everything like just read it and it will reduce lag. So if for you guys who make YouTube videos out there, you can record at a high quality and have no or li very little lag. And you can also I'll show you how to do the z zoom. Um I have it on Z, but like when you first get it, it will be right click or control click, but I have it on Z. So what happens is is you can be like zoom zoom and uh so as you can see I can press my Z button and zoom in on that zombie okay but it it will be your right click button at first I don't know I just didn't like it because I used the hit block technique for PvPing and stuff so I just kept on zooming while I was hitting and it just was getting annoying so I don't know you can set that to whatever you want it really doesn't matter um, I'll just go over some of the settings now so escape options video settings okay so you can change the graphics put this up it will start at like 50 but it will just do that because it will it actually you know, I'll read what it says off no smooth lighting it's, it will be slower if you have the smooth lighting up but it makes it look nicer so if I put on here I, I will probably have like no leg yeah see no leg whatsoever look at this Wah. but it makes it look kinda ugly in my opinion so um, I'll change that back um, smooth lighting percent uh, performance you can max FPS I, I I don't know just change this to whatever is best for you you can do your render distance like really intense like super extreme or whatever I keep mine at short but I don't know your choice um fog will just affect the lag details animations you can like put flames off like so here let me just see what I have in my inventory Back to game. Um, do I have a flint and steel? Ah, uh, no, I don't. So, but what happens is, like, um, when you, uh, let's see here. Oh shit, Enderman's so annoying. Um, but options, video settings, and then you can do, you can change texture packs. Performance and quality are big ones. So performance, smooth FPS. You want this on because it will increase your FPS feed per or f um something per second I don't even know but it as it it reads stabilizes FPS by flushing the graphic driver buffers so you want it on obviously that's what it says load far I have this off but it will slow your FPS but it will make the chunks generate faster so it's up to you same with this one it does pretty much the same thing smooth input I have this one on too you can just Look, I'm sure there's other tutorials on this that are better than mine, but, um, yeah. Uh, you can do quality. You can have, like, all clear water on, but it will make you, it will kind of make you lag a bit. I find it made me lag. Um, better snow, like, random mobs. It will just, it works, like, it's just more single player stuff, in my opinion. And then you can adjust the fog, um, render distance, all this. So I think it's a really great mod, and you should definitely install it, as it is, pretty much the same thing and just too many items but yeah I find it really easy and simple to do but uh yeah so thank you oh my god stupid enderman but yeah thanks for watching and hope you guys have a good day and please leave a comment like rate and subscribe if you have any questions or any other tutorials you'd like me to do just leave a comment so thanks for watching